If you're looking for a channel that will teach you everything from Python development to AI to ML to ML ops and generative AI, you are in the right place. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead, hit the like button and ask me your questions in the comments area. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tackle number nine from code signal. A lot of companies are using code signal these days to hire you and me. So number nine is finding the longest string. If you are familiar with my videos, you will know that I've got code signal on the left hand side of my screen and I've got a Jupyter lab on the right hand side for me to teach you some Python skills. I might move the windows around, but just bear with me for now. This task says given an array of strings like this, return another array containing all of its longest strings. So what do we need to do? Let me show you. Copy that one from here onto my Jupyter lab and then print input array. You will see that this is what the user might give me. So ABA, AA, AD, VCD, and ABA. My task is to search down here in this array, find the longest length, which is three here. I've got this one and this one and this one. And then eventually I should return ABA, VCD, and ABA again. Let me show you this in a step-by-step -step fashion how to do it. But let me first, for the ease of your viewing, I will make this, this one a bit smaller. I will extend this one. All right, I think this is visible enough. If it's not, let me know in the comments area. I'll change my future videos. But for now, there is step number one, find the max length. I'm doing exactly what a human brain would do. I will find what is the max length between all of those strings. And then I will say, go through this array of strings, find anything of the length max length. For example, if the max length is five, I will ask the search function to find everything that length equals five, then return it to the user. So step number one will be finding the max length. Step number two will be searching for strings with max length. And then step number three, return a list of strings with max. All right, I'll, let me do this in three different steps. I will move them into a following cell. Now, step number one, how do I find the max length? Let's call max length at first zero. We will start with max length of zero, then we will search for the biggest max length. Now, for item in input array, print item, you can see that I can print them, or I can find the length of item and print them. It's very easy to find the length of the item. So three, two, 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 three. I can easily find a max length by comparing it to the initial max length. If it is greater then write overwrite the max length. If not, go to the next one. So initial max length is zero. What I will do, I will write an if a statement. I will say if length of the item is greater than my max length, then overwrite max length by the length of item. This will iterate over and find the maximum amount of length. Let me show you. If I print max length, you will see that it will print three. So I found the max length in a couple of lines of code, but I can write that in a very, very shorter format. Let me show you how. Easily copy this line without that colon, make square brackets and say item, paste the top line. And if you print it, you will see that this is the comprehension way of writing a for loop. If you haven't seen my video on comprehensions, the link is up the top right. But now I am going to search for the max. So copy the same condition and put it right here. I will have to run max length equals zero once again because it was overwritten. All I need to do now is to put the max function in the beginning and it will show me the maximum length, which is three. It's not showing me ABA, it doesn't really matter. It will find anything that is max. But just remember, this is giving me the VCD. All I need to do now is to find the length of item and it will give me three. So this time I will overwrite this one into max length. And if I print max length, you will see that it prints number three. So. It's your choice. If you want to go this way or if you want to go this way, it doesn't really matter. Now, once we have done that, we have to go through and search in the strings in the list and find the ones that have the max length of three. So for item in input array, 
How does it work? I just want to say, if, it, if the length is three, keep it in a container. Have I made a container? I haven't really made a container. Let's make a container and call it final strings equals an empty list. And the condition will be if the length of item equals max length. What do I want it to do? I want it to append to my empty container. I want it to put it in the empty container. How do we do that? To say final strings dot append item. So I just need to print the final strings. You will see that it will give me anything with a max length, which is equal to three. So let's put it all together into a function format. What I want to do, I want to go ahead with this way of writing it. So define solution input array comes from the user and then get rid of that print, move them all one indent to the front. I don't even need the max length equals zero anymore. And all I need to do is copy this bit, put it here, make sure this gets indented to the front and just return the final string. Let's copy that, put it into the code signal and let's make sure everything is indented properly. Yep, it looks okay to me. The only thing I made a mistake on is that I do not need this if statement down here. It was only for me to show you. So let's get rid of that. I just need to go through every item, find the length for item in input array and find the maximum. I don't want to find the maximum twice. So run the tests again. You will see that 10 out of 10 passed. Let me move my face this way and submit this code. Ta-da, it was correct. And I have tackled this one. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and put your questions in the comments area. Thank you.